13 to 17, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many as the land by the spirit of God, those are the sons, and also we know they are daughters of God, for you did not receive spirit of bondage again to fear, but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Ибо все будимые Духом Божиим суть Сыны Божьи, потому что вы не приняли Духа рабства, чтобы опять жить в страхе, но приняли Духа усыновления, который называем Ава Отче. And the Spirit Himself bear witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, they are we heirs, heirs of God, and John heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. So, Father, we ask in you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that the Spirit of the Lord will move in this place in such a way like never been before. And the conviction of the Holy Spirit of the living God will move in this place. And the conviction of the Holy Spirit will move in this place like never been before. And the Spirit of the Living God, the fire of the Holy Spirit, will penetrate the minds and the hearts of the people. And to bring the deliverance for the blood of Jesus and the lives of the people. Those who have been deceived by the devil and enter in a relationship for the Satan's servants. Father, we pray that you forgive those who disobey you and that turn away from their wicked ways and they will turn to you with a repentant heart. Father, we call up in the name of the Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit of the living God, breathe on us. Oh, Holy Spirit of the living God, refresh us. Open our eyes of understanding that we will walk in truth, that we will walk in your destiny, that we will walk in your purpose, that we will walk on everything that you have for us before the foundation of the world. And I take authority right now in the name of Jesus. And I command that every assignment of the devil, every person, and every satanic influence that has been assigned in each of the people of God's life is being broke right now over their lives, over their minds, in the name of Jesus. And now, and now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that every generational curse has been assigned to this man and woman of God, is being destroyed, is being removed from the people's lives. And every curse that was placed on the people of God, 